Hello folks, welcome. Good to be back in the studio with you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Yes, Simon, where have you been? <laughs> well, I decided I was going to take a little break from YouTube and actually from, from the pottery, really, because, well, I had some things I needed to do in the house, some work some uh, DIY maintenance so I've been doing that basically and I just thought I'd have a bit of a break well you know it doesn't do any harm to have a break does it every once in a while so that's what I've done and now I'm back here I'm making some tankards we'll talk about that I'll show you some other stuff that I've been doing la, la, la. yeah I got the TV up there because I do um, I do Zoom using that small TV. Got a webcam up there on top of the TV. And, uh, and I put my laptop down here so I don't get it sort of splashed too much. So yeah, that's that little setup. So we do, are doing Zoom. Um, what have we got going on over here? Yes, I've got these guys. Actually, what I'll do is actually I'll put this camera back on the tripod because I actually want to do something here apart from show you and talk about it. I actually want to. So, yeah, so I'm making a slightly bigger style tankard. It's still the same weight of clay, it's still like 15 ounces of clay. Um, but these are thrown. Uh, actually thrown five and a half inches tall okay so these these are basically these are basically finished what I'm going to do is uh, they've been sealed on the bottoms uh, I'll put a little seal thing there I don't know if you can see it gosh the image seems very dark hope you can see but I just put a little swirl thing on the bottom there, the bottom of the handle. It's just a little detail, you know. It's all in the details, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so what we should do now is, and I've been waiting for this moment, and that is, as you can see, I've got them wrapped up uh, with plastic. And that's something you should do. Once you've applied handles and everything, you really want to, if you can, if you're not in a hurry, and even if you are in a hurry, <laughs> slow down the drying, slow down the drying process if you can. Um, another thing I do is I utilize a yogurt to round them afterwards. Okay. And then you want to put them upside down. The reason we do that is so that we encourage even drying, you see. Don't want the the top of your pot to get a lot drier than the the base of the pot. So you want to practice doing this. La, 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 la. Yeah, you can use a yogurt container, something like that. It works quite well. Okay, so that's those. Now I've got the stove alight over there. It's quite a bit of heat coming off of it, so I'm gonna just wrap them back up again like that. You, see. you haven't got to really wrap them. Just put a, a plastic, you know, just lightly over them. That's all you need to do. Right, and here, under this plastic, see a wood-burning stove is very drying. It dries, it dries things very, very nicely, but you know you don't want things to get too dry, do you? Yeah, I switched over to a bigger style of tankard. It's a, it's marginally bigger. I mean, well, it's actually substantially bigger, I think. If I'm honest, I'm just about to make some. We made some of these little strap strap handle bottles, 
Um, again, and this has got like a um, impressed impressed design there along the bottom. Uh, they're kind of fun to do. These little these little guys. A little bit of sunshine down there somewhere. A bit more light anywhere. Seems like the viewfinder image is very dark at the minute. I hope it's coming out okay. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, there it is. There's a bit of sunshine down there. Look. Stretch. It's really just a bud vase with a, a little strap handle. Okay. All right. So that's what I've really come back into doing, started making something that I'm familiar with. You know, it's always a good idea if you've been away from the wheel for a while. Get back into uh, doing something that you're familiar with, okay? I'm going to stick the camera there. I don't know if that's going to... I'm going to stick the... put that behind there to see... to see... I think that's going to work. Okay. Let's just make a tank of a two. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my apron because apron is your main source of dust. Okay, you need to be aware of that. You can sweep the floor all you like, as much as you like, but if your apron is filthy dirty, it's right under your nose and that's where you're going to inhale most of your dust is your apron, okay? So just give your apron a good old douse down with a spray bottle. Do yourself a favour. Oh yeah. Well, I hope you can see me there. I think you can. La la la. This is a slightly different view. I'm not using the tripod. So let's see how we... Ah, yes. Good to be back in the clay. Seems like... So I've got a gauge set, as you can see. Yeah. So, what's going on? We have workshops beginning in April, running through April, May, June, July, August. I think I've got only till August actually on the website. But there'll be some more carrying on after August. If you want to come, if you don't see them there, I'll put up some more dates. So I'm lifting the clay. Keep it conical. All right. Always keep it conical. The form as you... as you lift. Yep. Keep the water flowing. So we've got we've got 15 ounces of clay. Ah, good to be back on the healing wheel. Yeah, check out dates on the website for workshops. If you're interested in an in-person workshop experience. You might find it's beneficial. You're going to learn quite a lot, probably. It's probably going to stretch you and push you beyond where you are, which is what is what you need, isn't it, really? Okay. Okay. I'm looking for the gauge here now. Lifting the clay, bringing it up. The gauge is my GPS. It's my destination. You see. Now these, as I said, are thrown five and five and a half. Five and a half, yep. So I've got my rule here. I'm going to check it. Even if you're throwing to a gauge, you want to check. I don't know if you can see that there. I think you think it'll say five and a half, right? So... Yeah, ooh, almost five and three quarters actually. 
if they go bigger, I don't worry about it. Um, if they're slightly bigger, that's fine. I don't. We don't cry about that because you know. Well, Simon, I like a big cup of coffee. You know, your mugs are not big enough. I'm, I'm like, you know, I need, I need a reservoir of coffee in the morning. You know, to keep me, keep me going. You know, so. So you notice here at the top, I've got this collar arrangement, all right, which um, is it's a visual thing, but it's also it braces the top of the pot because these are actually thrown very thinly. Really, you'd probably be surprised how thin they are. Um, I'm just using my throwing stick here on the at this point down here at the bottom of the pot just to oh, just gotta go down there, it's not quite right there. Yeah. So one of the things you'll learn if you come on a workshop here, and that is how to throw, hopefully. A little wide at the top. I just want to bring him in a touch. So throwing is really—it's all about lifting the clay, isn't it? And shaping and forming the piece. And there's lot, lots of sort of subtle nuances, you know, that about shape. It's a bit like music, musical instrument, musical notes, I always think. So I'm using my throwing stick here as a, a rib, which enables me to get the slurry off the side of the pot. You can't lift a pot off the wheel if it's all slippery, can you? So I use my leather and just leather the rim. So this collar at the top is a visual a visual thing which we like but it also adds it braces the top of the pot and gives it rigidity you need rigidity especially if you're going to hang a handle off the side of it the weight of the handle in a kiln you see can can pull a pot out of shape cause it to warp all right I think that's it cut off wire clean your cut off wire before you you use it and also clean your wheel head here so there's no water here on the wheel head that you're going to drag in underneath the pot with your cut off wire okay take the cut off wire hold it like this so that it is taut and you're going to pull it through keeping it taut all the way like that okay put it down I just mentioned that these cut off wires for people who bought them and have wondered that they're different sized toggles. Maybe they thought that I was drunk or didn't know what I was doing, but there's a reason why they are different sizes like that. The bigger toggle, okay, goes on the inside of your wheel tray, okay, so that it hangs and doesn't fall out on the floor. Okay, that is the reason. Okay, here we go. We've cleaned the pot. We've used a twisted cutoff wire. So we've introduced air under the pot. That's going to prevent any suction. We've cleaned our hands off on a, on a rag. We're now just going to grab the pot like that and just straight off, you see, no hesitation, no suction. That's what you want, isn't it? Put him down, there he is. Okay. Well, there it is, folks. Hey, good to be back with you. Good to be back with you in another season of YouTube. <laughs> yes, good to be back in the clay, in the pottery, on the healing wheel. We need, we need the wheel, don't we? We need clay in our lives. Hey, I am actually, as I go slapping my wheel, I am having another batch of these wheels made. If you're interested in the leech treadle wheel, give me a shout. We're having a fresh 
batch put together. Okay folks, from me here in the studio, wishing you all the best. Keep practicing, okay? Don't forget, keep practicing. That's, that's where you hone your skills in practicing. Repeating one after another after another. Don't make three, make 33. Okay, until next time. Later, as they say around these parts. I'll see you. Bye-bye.